And breaking news first, we are putting our attention on the biggest international story, a story that has dominated headlines and how. The Swiss canal service firm says the massive container ship ever given that was stuck in the vital waterway now has been set free. In fact, it's on the move. This is the first video that you see of the container from the Swiss canal that is playing out on our screens. Do remember the salvage teams freed the ever given in the Swiss canal, according to maritime services uh, provider, almost a week after you've seen the giant vessel ran aground in one of the world's most important trade paths. Now, we'll uh, also get in our colleague Niranjan for more updates on that story because uh, the ship is floating again, viewers, but we do not know how soon the waterway is going to be open back for traffic or how long it will take to clear the log jam of more than about 450 ships that are stuck, waiting and en route to the Swiss that have identified it as their next destination. But the story, extremely important, a story that has uh, picked up a lot of traction for the last uh, one week as the ever given container there was uh, stuck. Now, you know, Niranja, the backlog is one more strain for the global supply chains. Uh, I, I think I was just reading somewhere that this is a conduit for about 12% of the global trade. Well, uh, you know, uh, you know the, the kind of uh, data that we've been seeing anywhere between eight to ten billion billion dollars of uh, goods that move through the Suez Canal, and uh, you know the, the entire reason why uh, the whole the whole global focus has been on this uh, on this uh, ship is because of uh, you know this all of this traffic being halted. And, uh, you know, there, there are so many reports, Deepti, that, that, that have been coming in all through the day about uh, the ship being partially freed, uh, being partially lifted, etc. And uh, efforts were on to refloat, uh, refloat this container. Uh, these efforts had failed earlier. But now we have a confirmation, the first confirmation, in fact, that the Ever Given has been refloated, set free, and now on the move. It's been, uh, you know, earlier it was partially freed, but now we have a confirmation that it was, uh, it has been freed and the visuals are clear. It was diagonally, diagonally stuck earlier, but now, of course, uh, it has been, uh, it has been, uh, it is, it is on the move. It is on the move is the breaking news that we're, ga we're gathering from agencies as well. And uh, traffic canal, traffic movement in the Suez Canal is now resuming. Uh, and, and the Ever Given has refloated, set free, now on the move. Egyptian, um, Egyptian president, of course, uh, has, mm. been, has been monitoring this. And he said that uh, earlier, four hours ago, he had said that the Suez Canal obstruction had been resolved. And now we have a confirmation, a visual confirmation, that the Ever Given has been refloated, set free, on the move, traffic movement. Uh, there were uh, reports of over 300 to 400 vessels that were stuck in the Suez Canal. Traffic movement in the Suez Canal is now officially resuming. Back to you. All right, Niranjan, thank you. About 27,000 cubic meters of sand viewers was dug out to a depth of 18 meters. And that's exactly how the Ever Given started to float.